Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching our EO Action Mobile compilation video today. Two patients in this compilation video. You can see this first patient, uh, wax looks nice and soft, but not too soft. So it looks like an ideal wax removal, this one. Um, we love the wax to be in this kind of Goldilocks zone. You don't want it too hard, you don't want it too soft. It's got a real funny one to try to get, uh, get bang on right when you put it drops in. But you can see it's staying together really nicely. The reason we like it, this texture, is it comes away really easily. You can see it's just really starting uh, to come away from the canal wall a little bit of little bit of wiggly movement needed though just to get it off that canal wall and get it out of the uh, the entrance to the canal uh, guys if you do enjoy these videos you can always subscribe you can follow you can heart you can like you can do all those lovely lovely things if you're watching this on Facebook guys oh my goodness I am having a nightmare on Facebook um, basically I can upload if I use their old upload strategy but the new one that's coming into effect at the end of the eight at the end of April even sorry uh, will not allow me to upload at all I am trying desperately to contact Facebook to get this sorted out. So if you are managing to watch this video, it has managed to get on, but it's so hit and miss at the moment. I'm still working on it, but trying to get hold of Facebook is a nightmare to try and get that sorted out. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, <laughs> well done. You haven't had any problems at all. Uh, but you can see here, it's covered away nicely. We've got this basically nice little plug here. Just trying to use the Jobson horn. You can see what's happening here. What I'm trying to use the Jobson horn, I can't get above the wax because as I'm trying to push above it, it's just folding the wax wax backwards uh, so I've got to try and pull this forwards now sometimes what we can do is bring the plug forwards and wedge it right in between the the, uh, the entrance to the canal so the, the between the canal wall and uh, canal walls at the entrance and then that wedges it enough that we can get the jobs and horn behind it to pull it through but you can see it's quite a hard lump this one it is coming out but there's a few hairs embedded in there so that you get this almost this slight little bit of looseness if you like uh, to the plug so I just want to get rid of this front section because this is stopping me from getting a good uh, grip on the plug beyond it so the main sort of meaty chunk of the plug if you like so this is coming away nicely a little bit of skin in there as well let's get rid of that out that comes now we can get onto that flatter surface beyond let's try and lift this up now let's try and work this out of the canal there we go give it a bit of a wiggle. You can see that smoother underbelly of the wax there. That's where it's been sitting and resting against the canal wall. That's great uh, for getting this out. You tend to get a really, really good grip on that underside. So we've pulled it forwards now. Now we have almost sort of wedged it there. So, ah, there we are, perfect. See, right on cue. Uh, if we did want to go in there with the Jobson Horn, now's the opportunity. We, let's see if we can kind of push up against the top of the canal. Let's see if we can get beyond this plug. Gently, gently trying to get through there view just slightly obscured now from that front section so we just pop that down there now we're behind it so we're just going to start to pull this forwards oh nearly you can see it's quite thick it goes almost brittle uh the wax when it gets to this kind of consistency um it is starting to come away though where are we stuck now we're just stuck on this left hand side we're just going to try and free that up i can see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel just above the wax there is a tiny gap so who comes into play? The St. Bart's Hook, yes. He's had a few outings, or she, they. Uh, I've had a few outings over the last couple of weeks. Uh, as you can see, they're coming away really, really well. Out that comes. Perfect, look at that plug. That is a lovely plug coming away there. It came away really nicely. Absolutely perfect. We talked about Goldilocks zones for the wax removal, you know, the consistency of the wax. You also have the Goldilocks zone for, for the St. Bart's Hook. You've got to have that little gap. The wax has got to be slightly harder. You've got to have enough to be able to get it through and twist to be able to pull that 90 degree angle down behind the wax to pull it out. Uh, but work perfectly in that, uh, in that ear canal there. So patients are the ear here. You can see a much sort of flatter uh, piece of wax here. It does look like there's a little bit of a, a gap just above. Now, patients don't always realize they have wax problems and they don't always realize they have wax in their ears unless it's sort of blocking you up or you can feel it or it's causing you some discomfort, your intermittent hearing, those kind of things. A lot of the time, we'll be walking around wax in our ears and we don't even know we've got it in there. Um, so when this patient came through, they came to have the one side done. I took a look at the other side, explained there's some wax in there and they asked if we could remove that at the same time. So, you know, it wasn't really causing them any issues, but because it was their patient wanted it out so we just started pulling this plug you can see i'm kind of holding on to the one side a little bit of skin just popped out the side but we've got the jobs and horn out early let's get this back in here now let's see if we can get beyond it 
and start to pull this down. Is the jobs and horn going to be able to get in there? Sometimes the angle you have to work out with the jobs and horn just doesn't mean you can get behind it very easily. And I think that's what's happening here. It's not allowing me behind. So Rosen inserter, my goodness, me, we've had all the curatage tools today. We've had uh, we've had everything. We've had Rosen inserter, St. Bart's hook, we've had the jobs and horn, and we've had the forceps, and we've had the suction. So we've had the whole lot in this video, but it's coming away really, really well. There we go, out that plug comes. Lovely, very, very nice. The reason I went for Rosen inserter there rather than St. Bart's hook, gap is a little bit smaller at the top. Rosen inserter, much easier to get beyond it. Uh, it's just tidying up the outside part of the ear canal here. There we go. Eardrum looking lovely and healthy. Now the keen eyed amongst you might have spotted that there was a little white bump just at the entrance to the canal there in that bottom right hand corner. Um, you get those quite a lot uh, inside the ear canals. They're, they're, it's nothing to worry about. It's just like a collection of skin basically. Uh, it's nothing untoward. So yeah, with nothing the patient needs to do anything about just to keep an eye on it when they come through to the wax removals done. And I talked right the way over that ruler shot there. <laughs> I think it was two and a half centimeters. I'm gonna go roughly about an inch. I can't even remember what it was. You make your own figures up for that one guys because I genuinely can't remember. Uh, second page of the compilation, very different. Now this is mostly skin. This is that epithelial layer coming away here. Very light in color. You can see uh, very hard and brittle as well. So you can see this is skin that's really hardened up. Remember we talked about that keratin, that protein inside the epithelial cells. And then when it starts to harden up, it's it just that basically the, the protein inside starts to harden everything up. And that's what's happening here. And we can see it's quite deep. Um, it's almost folded away like a little uh, sleeve and it's collapsed down and hardened up in that position. It's very, very close to the eardrum, this one as well. You can see all the way around the outside edge. Patients used a variety of drops in here. Uh, olive oil, bicarb, Otex, everything's gone in. I see you can buy the kitchen sink. And what's happened then is you can see it's a very, very... Um, sort of irritated ear canal. See, it's got that sort of mottled pink and white uh, appearance to it. We've got the, the crocodile forceps in here just because it is so tough. It's great for pulling these kind of plugs out. Out this comes. Let's see we can get. I thought we were going to lose it there. It just started to lose its grip a little bit. But you can see where it was attached, that fresher skin there underneath as well. Uh, let's take a look beyond that. Yeah, there you go. Irritated as anything. You can see the eardrum itself, very, very def difficult to make that out at all, in fact. Um, so we're just going to tidy this up. There we go. Now, there's possibility. I think this is more likely the beginning of a false fundus uh, because what I can see there, see there's no obvious uh, sort of markers for eardrums. You know, we, we can't see any tip of the hammer bone. We can't see anything there. This looks more like a false fundus to me, which would tally up with that really hard, thick epithelial layer being just sort of um, just down inside the ear canal as well. So uh, this patient we've referred on uh, to back to the GP for referral to ENT. We want to get them checked out. More than likely having a little MRI scan, just checked out what's going on beyond that as well. Uh, but yeah, Lovely patient though. You can see just over half a centimeter here. Uh, just well, it's probably was bang on actually a quarter of an inch. I did remember that time? Check the, the ruler shot out, guys. Uh, well, guys, thank you very much for watching our video today. Don't forget, we're going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday next week. Uh, so as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. Oh, by the way, I passed my motorbike test as well. Did that the other day. So you know. Uh, and as always, guys, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you for the next video. Uh, fingers crossed, me and Taylor for the next one on Monday. Bye, everyone.